from the storyboard and basic. This is Dylan Hassan, storyboard artist, in Vancouver for the last 15 years. And I'm going to talk about how to set yourself up with your template. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Sorry I've been away. I've had a lot of things take over my life, mainly life things. And I've been noticing on YouTube uh, a lot of the great comments you guys have been leaving behind. And a lot of questions that I have to apologize up front that I have not been able to get back to you guys fast enough uh, because life took over. So let's start with the simplest things. First off, let's start off with the first question I've been getting is how do I get uh, the storyboard template imported and from your website and put into my Procreate page to start storyboarding. So let's just bring this up and let's go to my website here. And we're just gonna make this really simple and easy. Go to my website. You don't have to go to my website, but you can definitely go to any site that you find that there is a storyboard template for you to start using. Or if you want something that's gonna work for you, you can go ahead, download your own storyboard template. So here's my page, violenthassan.com. Links will be on the website or in the comments below. Take a look, and this is uh, the direct download page here. And so I got a few different versions. There's film, 16 by nine to 235 aspect ratio. There's the animation storyboard and TV storyboard. So what I use is uh, TV storyboards. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on the download button here that we have here and it downloads it. And if you're using your iPad, the way I use my iPad is I go ahead and I download and it pops up in another window. And what you wanna do is you wanna just hold on on the image and save it to your photos, right? So you're gonna click here and tap on save to photos. If you want, you can tap here and go uh, share and it will go image, JPEG, PNG, uh, you're supposed to share, pop, pop it over, or even better, go copy. Copy directly from the web page and go straight back up here. And there is the top right corner, there's a plus. Tap on that plus. And it's gonna say, Procreate would like you to paste from Safari. And we're gonna go allow paste. I don't know what this is, but this is a brand new thing that's come in from, uh, I don't know why they did this in iOS, but allow paste and we're going to go to clipboard clipboard on where it says here there's screen and there's clipboard and we want to go clipboard because that is the image we copied from the website download and here we go we have our page now if you notice that right now we just have this as it is right now at the screen size and we're, let's zoom in and take a look. We've got the production director scene number shot and some scene notes, also page number. When we tap on the boxes up here, you're gonna see that there are layers. What we don't wanna do is draw only on the image itself here. We wanna draw on top of that image. So we create a layer. If you don't understand what that is, imagine a transparent thin film that you draw on top of like an overhead projector. So we never use just like and that. draw on top and of layer we'll just one. Go ahead we'll and get a keyboard. That. If you want, back you can go in. ahead and tap again and get this menu just and you go that. rename template. And when you rename, just Good. go, I like that template, but I don't want to draw on top of it. And I want to make sure nothing happens to it. So I'm going to swipe it to the left. You see these three options. You're going to press on lock. So now you can't do anything. So I can get my pens, I can go like this, and I'm drawing on top and it says locked layer selection. That means I can't draw. So I just move my Apple Pencil around. Nothing happened because we locked that layer. We will always use this. Now, when I work with my directors, I like to just get, I choose like the right kind of pen that for me feels like it's natural pen. So here what we have is we have the image copied and pasted and we could start drawing on top of layer one. And we go production, let's just say, uh, bad day out. Director, J Smith. And this is just for learning purposes, page one. This is gonna be scene one, 
shot one. And these are super, super rough. And we're gonna start drawing our shot. It'll be like a horizon line, and it'll be like a sunrise, and then some houses. And you just get your rough outlines here, and some rough perspective, and just whatever the scene and the script calls for, you're gonna start working on here, okay? And that's how we start drawing on our layers. Now, what if we didn't copy and paste this and we went ahead and we had to import it from a downloaded file? So that's what I wanna show you next. This is just to set you up. All of this is to set you up, not to teach you how to draw, just to set you up so you can start storyboarding. So let's delete that and let's clear this. Let's unlock and let's clear this. So say you have it in your photos file, in your, in your photos, in your iPad or in your iCloud account or your Apple iPhone or whatever it is, and you have saved that file from the website and it opened up here. And did it go to our, if we go here, download, it goes back to that website. So if I go download, will it connect to a thing? Well, if you go to, um, there's a few other options. If you open this on a PC or a laptop, say you're on a PC, save it to a shared drive of any sort because you can connect your shared drives to your iPad as well. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, we've downloaded this to our photos album. Let's go ahead and import. So tap on the wrench icon. There's a wrench up here. That's your settings. And that's a lot of your menu options. So we're going to go to add. So you can go insert photo, file, take a photo, add text, whatnot. So let's insert a photo. And the most recent photo is going to show up on the top left of these columns. Here we go import and there you go and what do we do after that we just lock it make a new layer and then we can start drawing yay ta-da we've done that and that's how you're going to import your templates you can import any kind of template you want these were pre-made for me years ago by myself i made these in photoshop I've made various different kinds for various different productions. They've always requested a certain way. Very few of them wanted them like this from me, how they usually get storyboards and they actually prefer to have storyboards done this way, where we have multiple panels at one, point, uh, one page. That way they can really see the whole scene brought out at once. And these are all downloadable off of the website as well. This is the animation board. And I will go back and I'll find you some storyboards that we did uh, just recently. And these are, if I go like that, these are for the Vancouver Canucks opening. And these are slightly different. Most TV shows I do or features get storyboards in this kind of a layout. Very few of them ask for that three per page. When they do, you give it to them. And there's ways of doing that. So... Here are other storyboard samples as we swipe in gallery view. So that's how you start. That's all you need to do is you just got to make sure you've saved it. But what if we went ahead and we've saved the storyboard template on our files, say Google Drive? Well, let's go to that next. And type templates and Here we go. There it is, storyboard template, three panels in the folder full of templates. Storyboard templates, three panels, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on that. It's gonna download that file. We've connected to my Google Drive and here we go, it pops up, here it is. How are we gonna import this to Procreate? Well, there's the icon here. It's a little box with an arrow pointing up. Tap on that, top right, send a copy and procreate right there tap on procreate sends to procreate all you need to do is go back open up procreate here we go bang 
storyboard template imported back. This is the raw Photoshop file. So as you can see, I've got all of the Photoshop layers uh, completely here. It's not a flattened image. Flattened image is what we saw before. If I go back to the previous thing, this was a flattened image. And as you see, all of it is here. It's one big image. There's no separate layers. You can't move things around. So when you import a Photoshop file, just beware, you will have all of the layers appear right here. And that's a good and a bad thing. It's good if you want to manipulate and change things around. Maybe move where the page sits here, add something else. Or if it's a bad thing is that you've went ahead and you've changed everything backwards and you wanted it landscape, not portrait. And you don't know what to do next. Best thing is just keep the template the way it is as a flattened image. And you can start drawing from that. See, it's going to ask to rasterize the text. We don't want to do that. Just delete that. We don't need that anymore. We want to stick to what we did before. Right here. Right here. First layer locked. Label template. Layer above. Then when I start, I like to choose a blue. A mid-range soft blue pastel color. When I zoom in and on my separate layer up here and I start writing my notes, production, it's going to be uh, Dad's Day Off. We're just making this off. Director Jane Doe. And just our rough lines. Of the guy just walking. Hey, it's dad, and it's his day off. He's talking to the camera. Go, hey, I'm a dad, and it's my day off. There you go. And he's going to walk left to right. We'll talk about camera movement in the next video. But right now, here you go. That's how you start. And then you can go ahead and create another layer on top. Tap on the top area, top right. Press the plus change your color, even on if you go to layer two, tap on the end and reduce the opacity. You only want it as your guide. And then go a layer above and start drawing how you want your character to look. Like that. Here you go. And this is about as fast as you have to work on a board. If it's something as simple as this, a couple of action lines, hairline, do fix that up later, and the arrow. Remember, always double tap to undo, double fingers to undo, and three fingers to redo. It's always your safety there. It's your friend. It's your best friend when you're working on your iPad and drawing. And this is how we start scene one, shot one. Later on, we'll talk about how we can add text and everything else in the other video. But for right now, to start, how do you start with a template? Start this way. Now, let's say you have an image that you've drawn previously and you want to add that image as a panel. Well, that's as easy as adding in your template. It just becomes a completely different layer. So let's just choose any random photo that I have here that I've drawn. And here's something from a project I'm working on for myself. And here's a, I really like the, this and the guidelines. And I think this would be really cool. And maybe we can use this as, uh, I like the pose and everything. So I'm just gonna, I brought it in. It was that simple, really. All I did was press settings, add, insert photo and I found the photo and there you go it becomes its own layer but I want to be able to see my guidelines I can't see it because it's it's a solid image so you're going to tap on the n that's normal and we're going to move it to multiply and now that we have it as multiply anything that is white will be invisible it'll be transparent 
So if I want to find the frame that I enjoy, the part of the frame, is it this part, is it this part, or do I want like this way? And I think that's a far more interesting frame, just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag. See how I just grabbed and dragged it? Drag it, move it around. I want to draw where the other character is that I drew above it. And I want that on top. The drawing layer that I want to keep forever, I keep on top. And that's for my basic lines. And then there's my photo of my other drawing as my reference photo. Go back to my drawing line, and I'm just going to draw like this. And really quickly, remember when you storyboard and you plan, you can't have super detail. You just got to have the basic lines. If you're wondering what this is, that is, as my reference as this example, it's a panel from my self-published comic series called The Black Project, and I'm working on chapter five right now. Like this. Some wavy lines for hair. Get her shape down. We'll get the basic lines down. And then when you add basic lines, you can go ahead and add simple, simple shading. And it just gives it that extra depth. We'll work on that in another video. But right now, we just want our basic lines down. How do we add all of the stuff in here? And you know, we'll just forget about that. But you get the idea here. I don't have to go really through the whole thing and redraw this because I've already drawn this. And I want to really spend this video and our time together just so you understand how can you take in a template and add it to your Procreate project and start storyboarding or planning. And this goes for any project. It could be a comic book project, any of comic book panels you want to start using. It could be for storyboards. It could be for a children's book. It could be anything. The simplest way of adding in these templates and other images as references and guides is by simply tapping on up here, insert file or photo, and there you go. And sometimes when you download it and you open in the files folder, you can transfer and send it to your Procreate immediately. That's how we start it. It's that simple. One last thing I want to show you. What if you need to do a second page? That is simple. Tap up on gallery. What I like to do personally is just swipe it and go duplicate. And then tap on the other one and drag it. And when it highlights, let go. Now there's a stack with two. Tap on that and here we go. We've got two images. Go to the second page and just delete those lines and delete all of that. Start new. This is the second page. Choose my color again and go page two. This is the second page now. So you won't have a duplicate. You just duplicate it and then get rid of the old files and go right back. And that's the lesson for now. It's the lesson for today, very simple. How do you import a template and start working right away? It's that easy. So there's a few ways of, again, few ways of importing it. Download it to your photos. Download it to your files. And if you need to, have it transfer, airdrop it from your iPhone to your iPad or from your MacBook or save it on a shared drive and open it in files. Many different ways. Find the way that works best for you. Use this as a starting point not as religious rhetoric, you will find your best way to work for you to deliver what you need to for any project. Remember, always plan, plan ahead. The devil's in the details. I'll see you in the next one.